I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein. This is Vehicle Versions, and right now we are in the middle of Florida, about to go to a half mile event. It's a combination event Wanna Go Fast is putting on. We've got a ridiculous half mile event with a ton of fast cars, and also a YouTube call out event. Rob Ferretti's hosting it, Cletus McFarland. I'm gonna be there. Street Speed was supposed to come. We got Adam LZ, that dude in blue, and a couple others going head to head. It's a three day challenge where the first day is a half mile. I'm thinking honestly, Cletus is gonna win that. Then the next day is a track day at Daytona, and the day after that is a track day at Sebring. We've all got Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, thanks to Michelin. Guys, freaking kill it. Best tires ever. See who comes out on top. Now, Brooke, he had to leave the hotel at 3 a.m. last night to charge his Tesla because he wants to take the P100D out on the track. It'll be interesting to see how this thing does. Obviously in the quarter mile, super quick, zero to 60, 2.23 seconds. But after that, I think it's gonna slow down quite a bit. So I'm gonna race him in the Huracan. There's also a 918 going that I really wanna put my car up against. Before we hit the event, leave a comment in the comment section below what you think the mile an hour the Huracan is going to hit. Speaking of YouTubers, we got JR Garage here who's Love got like 13 cars, but none of them are here. Well, what are you racing in? Yeah, yeah, he's right. Well, I'll just I'll just steal their Ferrari F12. That's good me. <laughs> Dude, the car's down. sick. It's got an IPA exhaust. It's, Dude, I it's, cannot it's wait gnarly. to hear this. But, uh, do, do you on the on the Model S P100D? What do you think this will run in the half? I'm guessing 140. Okay, let's hoping, see it. Hoping for 140. You gotta preheat the battery for like an hour for this to work in the cold? That's crazy. Yeah. The stuff you have to do to race a Tesla. Gotta do it. Unbelievable. We're beating Parker, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we got Anarchy Squad in the Rolls Royce Don. Just loaded the Tesla up. We've got five people in here. It's freaking cramped. That backup camera is nice. You Can you do a full screen backup? Yeah. No, it just does that. Yeah. Oh, so the Model 3 backup camera is actually bigger. I like I was filming ready for that and it still caught me off guard. <laughs> 20 minutes away from the track. Well, how much of a Tesla owner thing to do is this? Brooks has this app that literally replicates like, okay, we've got an iPhone screen here or, a, or maps or what time it is. And it's actually a hidden camera. Yeah. All he has to do is just tap it. Tap the screen. You tap the screen and then it starts recording so that he can scare the crap out of us in ludicrous mode and now I can get it on film. <laughs> Here we go. Rob got an M5. We got Rob Ferretti. They're gonna realize in about three minutes that's the wrong direction. That dude all blue. The wrong cast, dude. No. Damn, Hard these are all the spectator on. cars. Hell yeah. Look how beautiful that ZR1 is. It's Rob Ferretti's car. There's Tommy. The rest of the YouTube squad. I just realized Rob's literally missing half his wing. Where? <laughs> that doesn't look effective. This event is absolutely nuts and it hasn't even started yet. Just warmed up the Lambo. We've got the 720S here, the Rolls Royce Dawn, and just passed the 918 Sock. Look at all the freaking McLarens and Lamborghinis they brought out. Now, JR Garage didn't have a car to drive, but Alex is graciously letting him rip in the F12. Oh. Are you excited or what? <laughs> dude, I'm never gonna lift down. Oh, lift up. Yeah, yeah, dude, don't call. get caught with the lift up. Okay. So honestly, I think the last order of business before we take this out and totally crush Brooks oh. is, uh, <laughs> just kidding, is to take this wing off. So I did it at a quarter mile event with street speed and I think it did actually make a difference. This thing is kind of angled like a big air brake and that 160 plus miles an hour. It's probably gonna slow me down. It's really easy to take off. Just two little Allen keys right there and boom. Ready, dude? Yeah, I'm just trying to set up my 20. The first one, I wanna get no cameras on the outside, get the best mile an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra drag, and then we'll set up some races with some GoPros. Heck yeah, let's do it, dude. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Oh, activated that. Do you know how to race, dude? <laughs> we got one more bolt left. All right, there we go. Hopefully, <laughs> this allows me to beat the 720S. Let's fire this girl up. Got the YouTuber cars lined up. We got that dude in blue's 240. Never seen this car in person. Also never met that dude in blue. Super friendly guy. It's a good group of guys, the automotive YouTube community. This bad boy makes around 500 horsepower. He just said the fastest he's ever taken it is 140. I'm curious to see what this will do in the half mile. Oh. Yep, that caught me off guard. Well, this is a project car challenge, right? This is the definition of a project car. Apparently making somewhere 
in the upper 600 horsepower range. Obviously really like completely gutted. I'm excited to see this run down the half mile. What are we looking at here, man? This is you're, nuts. You're, you're looking at, uh, I don't know what I was thinking or what I was doing <laughs> when I started, but I said, you know what? We're gonna build something cool and something that's never been done before. And it, it's the internet. Everything's been done before, except this. Except for this. Yeah, this is, this is nuts. So this is the 1990 Audi V8. Uh, we pulled, we stripped the whole car down to nothing. Uh, we had Advanced Automotion build us an O1E six-speed transmission out of like a mid-2000s Audi because yep. we wanted the all-wheel drive Quattro system. So it's all-wheel drive. It's got a four, built 4.8 um, in the front. That's all aluminum. I was walking through the scrapyard and I seen a uh, international cab over diesel. Okay. And they had these two-stage turbos in it. So we thought, you know what? <laughs> this we is should, so cool, We should man. put a two-stage turbo in it. But then... Um, Aaron, and you the do editor it again. says, well, it's a quattro, so you need four turbos. And I said, you're absolutely right. <laughs> oh, my so, God. So my theory is they're off a of 4.5 diesel running about 3,500 RPM. Yep. So now we split it in half. So 2.4 liters is feeding one turbo and about twice the RPM. So it should Jesus. work, right? With a worn out engine and two worn out turbos, we ended up with 694 horse. Oh, my God. And 550 torque at about 2,800 RPM. And what do you, so, wow, wow. What do you think this is going to run? You got any idea? <laughs> we're gonna ease into it. You're gonna find out. We're gonna shake it out. So this is this is unbelievable yeah, yeah, cooling yeah. right so, here. So we still have to put a couple cordage rods and, and tie that down. Sure, so that but doesn't rip basically off. Basically, we had the car wrapped and we picked it up from the wrap shop, threw it in the trailer, and headed over. And here to it is. So we're just kind of <laughs> finishing up the last. That's one awesome. And then for the transmission to make the transmission to the LS, so we've got German going to uh, American. What we did was I, I took a radial arm and I shaved off all the ears on the Audi transmission. Oh my god! And then I shaved the back half off of the bell housing off a GM transmission and slid it over top and then found out the right spacing and then welded that together. Well, so. dude, good luck today. That's going to be, this is like, I'm most excited to see this run. Yeah, Absolutely crazy. So we're, we're still we're still sorting some stuff out. We'll be <laughs> a couple hours yet, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll. Hell yeah. Fully ready to rock and roll here now. Just got to find myself a helmet. Wow, looks like an Aventador SV just showed up. Some crazy cars out here today. Look at that. We've got an Alpha 10, some Supras. Brooks is about to race the 918 in his 720S, so we got our uh, a little go-kart here so we can get up there. Brooks warming up, getting ready. The 918 behind him. This is going to be an interesting race. Are you ready? Uh, I think I'm ready. What do you think's going to happen? I think I'm going to get hammered off the line. I'm yeah. going to try and hold on. Heck Both yeah. Both trapped within a half a mile an hour of each other. Oh, what was it? He did 169, he did 168.5, and I had to let off three times. Gotcha. Just talked to the owner of the 918. This car has 10,000 miles on it. And apparently, he's gone down the drag strip like 200 times. And all he's had to do is oil changes on a Y-Sox package 918. That's amazing. Awesome to see this actually get driven. Hello. What's up, dude? How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Are you ready? This is my first one to go fast. I'm nervous. Same here. Yeah. I'm nervous, too. <laughs> yeah. Rain doesn't break. All right. Drive safe, dude. 720S versus 918. and 168.5. The 720S and the 918 just went head to head. The issue is traction off the line here is absolutely terrible. So basically you've got to roll into it slowly. The 918 owner is saying his car did 169. He should have been getting 174, 175. So it's definitely uh, affecting the times right now. I believe they're going to run again. How was the first race against the 918? First race, uh, I spun a ton. I think you spun as well. Yes. And uh, we were within one mile an hour of each other. I think you got 169.8. Yep. 68.6 or something like that. So really close. Second race, my car wouldn't launch because the air brake got stuck. And then uh, <laughs> right. that actually makes me happy because yeah. you're just making fun of me. I had to unbolt my wing, and you're like, yeah. "Oh, mine goes down on its own." Yeah. But, well, but yours got stuck, stuck and then down. it couldn't even launch. <laughs> so, yeah, McLaren problems. problems. What are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Finally, got myself a helmet. The 720s did 168, and the 918 did 169. Let's see what it runs. How are we doing? Good, man. I'm excited. Excited? <laughs> We're about to run the half mile. I'm not gonna do launch control. I'm just gonna pin it and see how it goes. Wow, 
61. Definitely had some uh, <laughs> bouncing off the rev limiter and uh, this launch wasn't too good, but... So need to do some better shifting next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but not bad for first run. Not bad, not bad. Completely silent, heading out to the strip. 918 owner said he's interested in putting these head to head. That'd be an awesome freaking race. This is fun out here, man. I'm having a blast. Second run. Versus Leroy. before. Normally thrust mode's at uh, 4,500 RPMs. It engages. I tried holding it at 3,000 and then floored it and it had a perfect launch. I'm really stoked about that actually. Let's see what we got. That, time. that was that was pretty good. 163 yeah. against Leroy. Yeah, wait, so what happened to Leroy? Did he take off at the same time or no? No, well you guys did but he kept spinning like crazy. Oh, and heck yeah. Look at these hooligans with the hatch open. <laughs> what did you do? 163? Hell yeah, that's good. You do a you do a second pass? Yeah. What what'd you get? Uh oh no, this is my second okay, pass. Okay, yeah. word, good I'm luck, man. Get Hell yeah. What'd you get? 167. What'd you get? <laughs> 163. Oh. Yeah, I saw I was catching you. Yeah. And I was glad we weren't next to each other because I was sideways going through the traps. I mean I was really? the whole time. I heard I was like, wait, where'd he go? And then Jimmy told me after he's like, dude, he was doing a burnout the entire way. <laughs> There was, I was like, do I let off? I was like, no. no let never off. lift, dude. Never lift. <laughs> Unreal. I was like, oh. That's crazy. Just doing it for Dale, man. Your dude. car sounds amazing, though. Thank you. <laughs> the Gini, bro. The Gini. What's that? That's a Gini. <laughs> oh, that noise. Now Brooks is going to run. The Tesla P100D versus the 918. The 918 just clipped 170 miles an hour, still doing 168s in the 720S. This thing, my guess, probably 139, 140, but out of the hole. It's gonna be quick. Look at the front trunk in a 918 Spider. It's all That's carbon. All carbon That's driver. incredible. Look at that. This is spectacular, man. That's where the top comes from. Yeah, yeah. Out to go. 151. No way, yes, dude. Man, Hell man. yeah. That's yeah. nuts. Yeah, JR Garage just ran in the F12. Let's see what he got. This thing is so gorgeous. 153.5, I think. Oh, no bad. That's not, not bad. bad. I didn't want to go 100%. One, 153? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're the next one. I think we can beat that 155. There you right. go. Let's do it. All right. So, this is a tuned and exhaust. F12, somewhere around 780 horsepower. That just ran a 153. So for reference, yeah, this car, mine did a 163. That's pretty awesome. But the 918 with that 170, we'll see. I don't think I have a prayer. <laughs> What's the strategy here? I'm going to get him to 60 miles an hour and then watch him fly. Both of them in full electric mode. It's crazy seeing the 918 completely silent. I've heard this van is pretty damn fast. Look at the size of the front tires on this Honda Odyssey. How much power are we making in this thing, dude? Don't roll down. What'd you say? The window, the window can't roll down. down? Who needs it? How much power is this making? Uh, 730. To the wheels? To the, wheels, yeah. to, the to the front wheels? Yeah. That's nuts. What kind of transmission does it have? It's just a stock, like, Honda Crazy transmission. A van with 700 horsepower to the wheels. That's ridiculous. And a parachute. The quietest race ever. Tesla Model S versus Porsche 918 Spider.
looks like the Porsche got in the entire way. 139, I called it. There you go, Tesla Model S P100D in the half mile, 139 miles an hour. Three seconds, but I was still ahead of him for a little while. But usually it's 2.5 seconds. And then he just flew by you. Yeah, he just flew by. One mile an hour. I did 139.8. You no, beat no, him no. to 60? No, him, him. Oh. Do you, at what, the, at what mile an hour did he pass you? Oh, like, yes, 80 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yes. it, and it didn't launch. Yeah. By a long time. Yeah, well, he sat there for too long and fell out of launch mode. There's nothing I can do. Gotcha. So, oh. Zero to 60 was three seconds versus 2.5, which he usually oh. gets. There you go. Well, it's still good. I gotta give a special shout out to Anarchy for not only putting the coolest looking wheels on my Huracan, which is coming soon, but also shipping my car all the way out here and making this the best possible. Your guys' hospitality is unreal, man. Love you guys. Look at this 1,000 horsepower Ford GT. Wonder what he's running. Look at that Get shirt, merch. dude. Get the merch. Does it feel good? Do you like it? I can do it. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. That's awesome, dude. How are you guys doing? Good. good. What's up? This is a lot of fun out here. Now is the time. Supercharged Huracan versus Porsche 918 Spider. Here it is, the moment of truth. 2015 Lamborghini Huracan, supercharged 805 horsepower, 3,400 pounds versus 2015 Porsche 918 Spider, 887 horsepower, a little heavier, 3,650 pounds. This is scary. <laughs> what are we doing? We're racing the 918 uh, for big slips. Big slips? I wish. <laughs> go this is the race i have been waiting for for a very long time to say i'm uh, not nervous would be a complete lie i am i'm totally nervous to race this 918 honestly uh my only prayer is if his car a little bit messes up on the launch i mean the surface really isn't all that good so everybody no matter what if they're all wheel drive has been spinning off the line i think i've got it dialed in although i don't want to totally uh jinx myself <laughs> I do. <laughs> there we go. Fastest half mile of the day for me. 164.5. 164.65. There we go. finish line or not but he ran a 170.8 so i'm here with cc who's running this beautiful wide sock 918 how's it how's it been running uh it's been running great and you how how many miles have you put on this and how many times have you tracked it uh, i think we've probably got uh 9,400 miles on it uh we probably raced it well over 150 yeah. times no way yeah. and it's freaking dead consistent I mean, yeah. it's been running 170 Stays 170 good. 170 to 171. Yeah, that's awesome. Any problems maintenance wise? No issues, no problem. That's awesome. We'll have to go again and see what happens. Yeah, but that was a good race. Thank you. That, thank that's you. the best race I've had all day. Heck yeah. <laughs> that means a lot.